Hey guys, how you all doing? Ali here. In today's video, I'll be going to Comptoir Lebanese. These guys specialize in Lebanese food. They've got quite a few branches as well around the sort of UK, so they seem really, really popular. Just before I do start the video, however, if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to do so. We're building a really, really cool foodie community here. So if you are a foodie, enjoy the video, but before you leave, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Lovely day here, so hopefully I'm gonna get some lovely food as well. Quite excited to try these guys, actually. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Right, there is a lot of food in front of me. The menu is actually quite big. What I've done is I've ordered a few bits and bobs from the different parts of the menu. Guys, if it's a little bit loud, there's some cleaning going on outside of the restaurant, that's probably why. So I'll try and be as clear and as loud as I possibly can. Now let's start with the meze platter for one. Right, starting with the hummus, which is a sort of a chickpea puree. There's some olive oil on there, there's some actual chickpeas as well. This has got some lemon juice. This looks delicious. Guys, that was awesome. Let's move on to the baba ganoush, which is actually a smoked pureed aubergine, some lemon juice in there. This looks fantastic. Oh. Look the pop. Taste the pop, that's awesome. I love baba ganoush, I love hummus. Excited to move on to the hot food. Let me just quickly crack on with the rest of this meze starter for one. Who has tried a sambusek? These are little sort of cheese pastry parcels. There's some mint in there, there's some cheese in there. I've actually got a bit of the lubna on there by accident. Let me give that a go. Oh. Guys, look how cheesy that is. Absolutely filled to the brim. Oh, I love cheesy pastries anyway, but that's actually super tasty. I love the pastry on the outside. It's filled to the brim with cheese. Touch of mint in there as well. Moving on to the falafel. How cute is that? <laughs> mm. The falafel, it's like a chickpea patty. There's some parsley in there, some coriander in there. Just get some of this. Dip it into one of the sauces, guys. Into the hummus even. Awesome. There's actually a tabbouleh in there, a quinoa tabbouleh. So it's got some parsley, sort of chopped up finely, some quinoa, some lettuce. Let's try the quinoa tabbouleh. Really fresh tasting. Some parsley, coriander, quinoa, some lemon juice. It's a really nice sort of side salad with the rest of the stuff. Last but not least, I'm just gonna have a little bit of the labna, and I've had this before. Now, I'm, if I'm butchering this, I'm very sorry. It kind of tastes like Greek yogurt. So if you imagine Greek yogurt would be a yogurt where you drain out all the milk, this would be extra strained, I guess. So it's a thicker Greek yogurt, it's quite cheesy. That's kind of how I describe it to people. It is tasty. It's nice to dip your pita bread into. Well, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite dishes now. I discovered it recently, but I have to say, guys, the lamb shank looks and smells amazing. It's staring at me. They've got a mixed grill as well. That looks good, but before I do that, I'm gonna show you guys the kibba. Dip it into my sauce. These are cracked wheat parcels, and they're actually filled with minced lamb. There's a little bit of sauce there as well. This is a tahina sauce I've just dipped it into. I had this very recently, actually, at Siriana, and it was delicious. Looking forward to trying it here. Oh. Guys, hey man, look how meaty that is. That's actually wheat and lamb, that parcel. And it's got lamb inside, so lamb on lamb. Super meaty, really dense, got beautiful flavor. Some chopped onions in there as well. Dip into that mint yogurt sauce, that is just perfect. All right, let's move on to the mains, guys. Let's move on to the mains. This lamb shank looks amazing. This actually wasn't on the menu. Maybe it's like a daily special. The waitress was nice enough to mention it. This is a lamb shank made in like a tagine. They've got like a tagine section, but this wasn't on that section. This is a lamb shank with some aubergine and some rice. You have the option of couscous as well. I've gone for rice. Smells good. Feels good. It feels soft. Let's try this. done that is so good hey man the lamb is really soft it's got a, i'd say like a subtle flavor but seasoned for me perfectly the rice has got a much stronger flavor so they go really well they balance each other really really well delicious rice delicious lamb and we've started to move on guys but ask a waitress if they have this on the menu it's delicious seriously guys look at this right the meat just i'm going to try and pick it up and <laughs> the meat just literally falls off Whoops, the bone, it is so soft. I'm gonna move on guys, but that is an awesome dish. Highly, 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 highly recommend that lamb. Quick interjection in the video. They've got a lemonade section, like a homemade lemonade section. And it's my weakness really, I love lemonade, so I've got myself a cup. I've got myself the Rumana, which is pomegranate and orange, I believe, so let's try that first. I can taste that, it's like natural, because I can taste the little bits of fruit actually. That's really nice, it's refreshing. And then I've got the Tufaha, which is apple, mint, and ginger. Let's give this a go as well. Ooh, that's really refreshing. 
It feels like a hot day. We're sat outside, it's pretty warm, but it feels like a really hot day. That is super refreshing. That's delicious. The Tufaha guys, awesome. Okay, so I've gone for the mix wheel. That's because they actually have all of their copters. So they've got a spicy chicken copter, which I've never tried a spicy chicken copter. I've tried a chicken copter, but not spicy. They've got a lamb copter and they've got the chicken talc. Talc, I, I'm probably ruining that. Right, moving on to the chicken talc. And those are just grilled chicken breasts. There was some garlic and some fresh thyme. Looks pretty lightly seasoned. Let's try this. Oh, that's soft, moist. Like I said, lightly seasoned, but seasoned well. That is cooked really well. That is delicious, guys, actually. Love the charring there. Love the seasoning. It's really moist. That's well worth getting. Let's try the spicy copter. I've just dipped it into some spicy sauce as well. Let's try it. I'm usually not a fan of copters with white meat, but that's actually delicious. I love the spicing on there. That's really, really tasty. I'm a bit surprised, because like I said, don't usually like them. That tasty. Moving on to the spiced lamb kofta. Lamb kofta is good but that didn't really blow me away. The chicken kofta however is actually delicious. The good thing about the mixed grill is you can try a few different things but there's different things so the chicken towel, the, the spicy chicken kofta, the lamb kofta, they actually sell them separately as well so I'll definitely get the spicy chicken kofta. I'd get the grilled chicken, the chicken towel. I probably wouldn't necessarily get the lamb kofta. Okay so we're actually moving on to a fish dish now. This is actually sea bass. It's skinless which I like. I like when they remove the skin. This has got some crispy onions on there. It's got a tahina sauce. It looks really good. It looks apart. Let's see, let's give it a go. Correction guys, it does have a skin. It's actually just under the fish and it's got a nice colouring to it. It's actually not like a strong colour. Um, I was expecting it to be dark if it had skin, but yeah, it looks good. That's tasty. It does say in the menu, it's actually tahina traitor sauce. I'll be honest, I've never had that before. I think it's quite vinegary. It's got like a, it's like almost like a vinaigrette. I think the sauce is actually quite overpowering. So I, when I have something like sea bass, because I enjoy sea bass, I like the flavours, I think you should kind of let that fish sing on its own rather than have a like a thick, strong sauce that overpowers the actual fish, if, in my opinion. It's certainly cooked well. Uh, the rice is tasty. Everything's cooked absolutely fine. So if you like these flavours together, you'll like the dish. But for me, it's probably a no because I can taste the sauce more than the fish. Okay, guys, so final thoughts. Really, really enjoyed my meal at Comptoir Lebanese. I think it's a really, really good introduction to Lebanese food. We've got a load of branches around the UK, so really, really accessible. Like I said, a great introduction to Lebanese food. If there are any Lebanese places that you want me to try, do let me know in the comments below. I shall try and go for them. But that takes me to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more. I'll see you guys in that next one.